Lico Kenny with his friend Caleb McCauley in the car is pulled over by his old enemy. He requests a different officer. McKay, knowing who he's up against, refuses. Kenny drives off. McKay gives chase, forces Kenny to stop, and the officer rams Kenny's car twice. Corporal McKay walks up and he uses pepper spray, sprays it in, and you can see that it hits Lico Kenny and it also hits Caleb McCauley. Um, however, it w obviously wasn't very effective. As McKay turns and walks away, Kenny suddenly pulls out a 45 caliber semi automatic pistol. He fires seven shots. If you watch him, he tracks him with the gun. He physically moves his body out the window and moves the gun like this to follow Corporal McKay as he runs across the road. 44, okay. Kenny drives out of view, but he's not finished. Grafton to 44, okay. What happens next happens off camera, but it's just as horrifying. Lico Kenny, the young man who's just shot Officer McKay four times, proceeds to drive across this road after the wounded officer and runs him down. But McKay's shocking death was just the beginning of the bloodshed that day. Now things are about to take a bizarre twist. In the pickup truck just down the road are Gregory Floyd and his teenage son. You can see them initially in the video stopped on the side of the road because the road is blocked by these two vehicles and they're sitting there watching. I turned my head for a second and heard bam. They witness the shooting, and after the shooting takes place, uh, the elder Floyd tells his son to drive across the road to try and help Corporal McKay. And I said, aha, uh -huh, there's a chance to, to save somebody. They drive across the road, and Mr. Floyd tells his son to run to the police cruiser to call for help, and he gets out to try and help Corporal McKay. Oh, and then all of a sudden they start shooting at the top of the house. Oh, 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 I think he's dead. Floyd spots the fallen officer's gun in the grass. He picks it up and approaches Kenny, still in his car with his own gun in his hands. He can see Kenny inside working the gun. It appears to him that the gun is jammed uh, and tells him um, to stop, to put the gun down, not to try and reload it. Uh, he said that Kenny looked up at him, didn't stop, and then he fired his gun twice. And shot and killed Kenny.